Hey there, welcome to DataStax. If you're a Python developer looking to get started with Azure DB, then you've come to the right place. My name is Melissa. I'm a developer relations engineer here at DataStax. And today I'm going to be showing you how to store vector embeddings in Azure DB and run vector similarity searches using Python in less than five minutes. Let's get started. So before you get started, make sure you're signed up with Astra and let's hop into our Astra DB portal. So once you went ahead and hop into your portal, we're going to go ahead and create a database. But first of all, what's Astra DB? Astra DB is a NoSQL database that can support storing your application data as well as your vector data. And we'll go into a little bit of what vector data and vector embeddings and things like that are a little bit later. Let's go ahead and create a database. It's as easy as scrolling down into our quick access section down here below and clicking create a database. Go ahead and give your database a name. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to name mine Python Quick Start. Choose the provider of your choice, the region of your choice as well, and select create database. And there you have it. It's actually easy as that to spin up a database. So while this is going ahead and initializing, let's jump into some Python code. I'm gonna hop into VS Code and open a new file. I'm gonna name it pythonquickstart.py as well. And I'm gonna open a new terminal so that we can run some code here. And I'm gonna spin up what is called the end. And what that basically does is create a virtual environment that you can run Python in. So to do so, you're going to run Python or Python 3, depending on what you're running, dash M, B-E-N-B dot B-E-N-B. -E and once you have ran that, you could see that this directory has created in your workspace. And then to activate the virtual environment, we're going to run source dot B-E-N-B slash bin slash activate. And now you can see with this prefix right here that the virtual environment has been activated. Awesome, once that is done, we are going to do a pip install Astra Pi. And what this is, is our Python client that will get you started with connecting to Astra DB. I'm actually gonna hop into our Datastax docs and go into our quick start guides. And then I'm going to scroll down into the Python section here. I'm going to copy this script. So once I get this script copied, I'll paste it into our VS code. And then let's take a look a little bit as to what this script is doing. We are importing some of the dependencies from Astra Pi, and then we are going to create a connection with our Astra DB. Now, how do we do this? We need to obtain a couple credentials directly from our Astra database portal. Let's quickly hop back into our Astra database and go into the database details section here on the right. All right, let's go ahead and export our Astra DB. DB API endpoint. And then for the application token, just click generate token, copy and paste that and bring it back into your code. Awesome. So next we have to create a collection, which is basically a grouping that lives within your database. And this is actually where your vector embeddings, your data and everything like that is going to be stored. And right underneath that, we are going to insert some dummy data or documents that have vectors already with them. And how these vectors get created are through what's called embeddings models. And what these embeddings models do is basically understand the data that you are trying to store and then converts them into these vector embeddings to be stored into your database. All right, so we have three records that we are storing and then we are going to insert those into our database and then we are going to finally perform a similarity search. All right, so let's run this and actually see what we get back. Awesome, so once you've ran the script, you've seen that we've inserted the three items into our vector database, and then we're performing the similarity search using this query vector. And once we have done that, we are getting returned these vector search results based on how close they are to our vector. And then what's also great is that you can hop back into your Astro DB, check out your data explorer, and see your vector data actually be populated within your Astro UI. And that's it! In the last few minutes, I showed you how to create a vector database with Astro DB and run a vector similarity search using Python. Be sure to check out our docs for more information and tutorials on how to build Gen AI applications using Astro DB. Happy coding!